Hi, I'm Juanita. I have here in front of me a plate of spaghetti and beef shanks. The spaghetti was not boiled in water. The beef shanks were cooked in spaghetti sauce. If you'd like to make a dish like this, hang out with me and I'll show you how it's done. So here we go. This is beef shank. You can see the way it falls apart. It is very, very nice and tender. And this is a, a cut of meat that is known for its toughness. I've been cooking this since this morning in my homemade spaghetti sauce, this beef shank. So I'm taking it out of the pot so that I can put the spaghetti in here. And grab a pot holder and cook this spaghetti in the sauce. So nice and tender. I love beef shank. I'm adding two cups of water this. I don't feel like I have quite enough liquid in here to uh, cook the spaghetti. I'm going to bring this back to a boil. I keep it on medium low and just keep it boiling. It's better to keep a really close eye on it so it doesn't burn. And pull it up from the bottom so it doesn't stick to your pan. As far as the uh, spaghetti sauce goes, I had approximately seven to eight cups of sauce in here. Then I added four real meaty beef shanks and I let it just simmer all day long. I put some olive oil in here too to add a little more flavor. And I'll go ahead and um, drop a little bit of Parmesan cheese in here too while it's cooking. And this is a combination of my homemade sauce out of, um, I used uh, tomato puree. And then I also cooked up about Ooh, two pounds of fresh tomatoes. And then I just let it simmer all day long. And I put it in freezer safe containers and kept it in the freezer till I was ready to use it. It's real handy to have a bunch of spaghetti sauce already made up and ready to go. This is an Italian tasting bowl. That's some of the beef shank and a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And I'm going to give it to my daughter, Kim, and see if it's any good. Gotta make sure it's good, right? Okay, make sure that you check the bottom. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you wanna make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom. You can have um, less olive oil. I might have gone a little overboard with the olive oil. And you can go ahead and skim it out also. If you're going to cook your spaghetti right away, you can skim out your oil and make sure that you don't have a real greasy dish. Or just slow down on the olive oil. Apparently I didn't uh, slow down very well. But it looks good. And I'm sure it'll taste good. I got daughter approved for the beef shank, so we're good there. And just keep on keeping on until you think it's about ready to taste. And see, I like my pasta more al dente, firm to the tooth. So we shall see if we've achieved that or not in a few more minutes. Doesn't that look good? You see how much darker this spaghetti is than if you do it the traditional way. And that's all flavor. All flavor.
even though I'm low on liquid and the sauce has become thick, we're still cooking away. Everything is okay. As long as you don't burn it. And I have burnt it. This may, is mainly where I have problems is right in this area. As long as you stir it, it's not going to stick to the bottom of the pan. And the olive oil also helps keep things off of the bottom of the pan. Taste testing the sauce, even after putting two cups of water in the sauce, hasn't harmed it a bit. It's still nice and rich and flavorful. Anyway, I'm going to try um, a little bit, see where I'm at with the cooking process. Mm. I think I need just a little more time, probably about five more minutes. Don't be afraid to add a little more water. A cup or so is fine if you feel like it's getting too dry. To cook like you want, it's no big deal. In fact, I'm gonna add about a cup and let it simmer a bit. Don't become impatient with the cooking process. It's going to take a little bit longer than what you would have to cook if you were doing it in boiling water. See how it's getting a little sticky here on the bottom? This is the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more water. And like I say, it isn't going to affect the taste of the spaghetti or the cooking process. None of that. Just go ahead and stir it in. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Right now I'm on medium low. I'm gonna turn it up to medium. And trust me, it will start boiling here in just a minute. Everything's very nice and hot. To me, this is worth the extra effort since this spaghetti turns out, for me, so much better than uh, the traditional way of boiling the spaghetti and adding the sauce to the spaghetti or vice versa. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let this sit and put the lid on. You see it simmering there underneath the lid? That's what you want. Okay, as you can see, can you see that right down there? That's starting to stick to the bottom of my pan. It's not burning, but it is sticking. So I try to get a little bit of the liquid over there and kind of ruffle it up a little. It doesn't take much for this thing to stick to the bottom of the pan, so keep your eyeballs on it. Yeah, this is better. Most of it's unstuck. If you leave it stuck, trust me, it is going to burn. But you know, even though I have burnt my spaghetti before, doing it this way, it never tastes burnt. So I'm happy to eat it. Okay, let's give it another taste and see where we're at. It's really good. Tastes delicious. Minutes maybe another few minutes. I like it a little more done. 
but if I had to take it off right now, I would do it with no problem. Now remember, you can do this with any kind of pasta. Just do it like I'm doing it. Make sure you have enough liquid and sauce to do it. There's quite a bit of sauce in here. Still, look at that. I'm going to put Parmesan cheese on it. And I've already put Parmesan cheese on the meat. And then I'll go ahead and dump the meat right on top of the spaghetti. So everything's together. Oh gosh, I could live on spaghetti. I don't know about you, but I love it. About three minutes more into cooking, and as you can see, the sauce is kind of drying up. It's a little bit sticky down here at the bottom. So I think it's about time to turn off the stove. I am going to try it one more time. Hold on here, let me turn off the stove first. So good. That's not good enough. That's an awful big bite, isn't it? Big bite? Cool it off a little bit. Look good to you? Looks good to me. This is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss the meat in here to kind of warm everything up again. Put the lid on it. I'll probably take it off the stove top, you know, the burner, because I don't want my spaghetti to burn. That would really be a bummer. everybody to eat. We'll take a bite to see how good it is. Hi, well the food's all done. So here we have the spaghetti that was cooked in sauce and not boiled and the beef shanks. They're very, very tender. As you can see, they just fall apart with a fork. So let's try the beef shanks first. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, these are delicious. And the spaghetti second. Mmm. This is so good. I cooked it al dente. It's very flavorful because you don't boil it in water. You boil it right in the sauce. When you boil it in the sauce, you have to pay more attention to it to make sure that it doesn't burn. But trust me, it's worth it. Add a little bit of um, Romano or Parmigiano to the top and you've got a wonderful meal. Mm-mm. Well, if this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up. Write a comment. And subscribe. Sorry, I'm chewing. I should probably wait till I swallow, huh? So, it was nice having you here. 
and all of you out there have a very nice Italian evening. Bye.